What's going on guys, welcome back once again to WWE Champions. Today we are going to go ahead and do the SmackDown Live Tour. And we are just gonna knock this out. Because why not? Um, I changed my camera so now you can see all the stuff instead of just the wall behind me. So... Uh, I have my wrestling pops and a couple of stuffed things. I got a zombie bear and a wampa from Star Wars. So that's pretty cool. And then, oh, she wins. Oh, that's a way to start. Um, earlier during Raw, they actually, actually, when this goes up, during Raw last night in Champions, they had, um, for four hours only, Trips and Seth Rollins available in the Mega Superstar League. Uh, most likely because you can see WWE 2K18 cover Superstar, uh, this year. We still don't know a whole lot about the game yet, um, Usually about a month after, or during SummerSlam week, is when a lot of the stuff starts to come out about the game. So, I'm not expecting to see anything really major on WWE 2K18 until... Uh, I don't know, maybe... Hmm... Probably not actually until the end of July or middle to end of August. Um, we do know there's gonna be a standard edition, there's gonna be a digital deluxe edition, and a collector's edition, I believe. I think there's only three options. Um, all three options will allow you to play the game four days earlier than anyone else. So four days prior to release date for a lot of people, you will get access to the game. Um we don't know yet what will be in the collector's edition. My guess is probably uh a Seth Rollins statue and uh maybe let's see. What can I put? A Seth Rollins statue... I mean, the Funko Pops are really becoming a really popular thing. Especially for wrestling. So maybe we get a... 2K exclusive Funko Pop. Um... I think that's very possible. Or maybe even a... Rob Schamberger painting. Uh... I wouldn't mind those. I actually have quite a few of them. Uh, at the moment, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six of them uh, that I have got from WWE's auction site, and uh, the first two I ever bought were from Rob himself when I went to a Wizard World a couple of years ago uh, when I went and met Seth Rollins. Um, I have. If it, why not? I don't mind talking about it. I think that's kind of cool. Um, if you know what I'm talking about with the paintings, they're really, really cool looking. I've been a fan ever since I saw them, and since I got the first two, I've uh, slowly been getting some other ones. But, the first two I got, I got a Seth Rollins one for when I did meet him, because I wanted to have one, something cool for him to sign, like, I didn't want it to be a... Uh, action figure, because a lot of people do that already. So, I bought, uh, an art print from Rob, who had, uh, a stand set up. And, as I was getting that, he had, like, a portfolio of some of the other stuff he had. And, there was a portfolio that was just, you know, 
normal blank, uh, superstar art prints, and then there was another one that I had that were superstar art prints that were signed. And so I'm like, hey, can I get the Seth Rollins? I'm gonna have him sign it. And very humble guy. He was very, uh, happy to hear that I said that. I even showed him afterwards that I did get it signed. And the smile on his face just was incredible. Like, one of the nicest guys I've ever met when it comes to wrestling and that community. When it comes to even work, he technically works for WWE at this point. Um, but anyway, I showed him and all that, and as I was getting the uh, Seth Rollins art print, I'm like, well, let's see what else he has. And I found a very, very unique piece. I guess you can call it a piece, right? That seems like the right thing to say. Um, and it was his last one. I didn't notice until he gave it to me. Uh, I got the last one, 50 out of 50. And so, it is a double, double, dual, whatever. Uh, art print of Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose signed by both of them. So this was during that feud, so this kind of tells you, like, how long ago it really was. Um, and this is, like, one of the coolest ones I have. It's the only numbered one I have. Um, did not, I haven't seen any other numbered ones since that one. So I think at the time that was the thing, but now it's more so like, well, here they are, uh, they do a little at a time. Because one of them that I have just got restocked again. I didn't expect it to get restocked at all. Um, but they did. Which is fine, I mean, it sold out within seconds, basically, when it went back up. So I'm glad that I got mine. But anyway, Seth Rollins won personalized to me. Um, and then the Dean Ambrose Bray Wyatt dual signed one. And then, after that, I did not get one until last, what was it? Well, I'm looking at my, uh, signed event poster. Uh, September, when I went to the NXT event that I told you guys about last, that I went to last year. So, I, I think I told you guys that I got the event poster signed by everyone that had a match and all that. Um, but they also, at the same time that those went on sale during intermission, had a Shinsuke Nakamura event only, like NXT event only, uh, Rob Schamberger done design, and it was signed by Nakamura. And I'm like, okay, that's really cool, I'll pick that up. And so, I got that, and then I didn't get anything until this past January. So, October, November, so, so pretty much four months, I didn't get anything. So, I went from having two back in 2015, summer of 2015, I believe. I think that's right. So summer of 2015, I got those first two. And then in over a year later, I got the Nakamura one. Then this past January, I got one of my favorite ones I, I've ever had. And it was a birthday present that I got for myself. Kinda... Not that, I'm not trying to sound selfish or happy when I say it that way. But, I used the money that I got for my birthday and Christmas. Went in the head and got a AJ Styles art print. And I'm like, alright. That seems like gonna be my favorite one for a very long time. And it has been. Uh, it still is one of my favorite ones. Um it's just one of my favorite wrestlers, I've told you guys this before. AJ Styles, hands down, 
has been a favorite of mine for the last eight to ten years. Um, anyway. That one was one of my favorites, still is. And then, earlier this month, as well as the end of last month, I got two that I never thought I would actually see. So, the one I got earlier this month is, for me, has more so a like a nostalgia factor, because I grew up being huge fans of the Hardy Boys, and obviously just like a lot of people, when they came back, it was shock and awe. Like, a lot of people were expecting them to come back, but it was the fact that even knowing it, you still would not believe that it was happening. Like, it was one of those kind of scenarios. Um, I still watch the, the return and get goosebumps every time. And it's just, it's insane to see them back. But, early, like the beginning of the month, on WWE's auction, they put up a Hardy Boys Rob Shamburger signed art print, and I'm like, I have to get this. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, it was between that and Kurt Angel, which is such a hard decision to make, honestly. But I went with the Kurt, no, not the Kurt, I went with the Hardy Boys one just because of who, who they are and being such big fans of them personally. It was just something that couldn't pass up. So, I just got that uh, about two weeks ago. It's really, really awesome. But, the one that I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would even consider or even bother thinking about let alone soon, or even that owning is probably gonna be like if it's not AJ Styles, this this one is easily my favorite that I'm gonna probably have. No like unless it's like an Undertaker one. Like if they do an Undertaker one and I find out immediately, I'm snatching it up no ifs ands or thoughts. But I have probably right now, like I said, unless they do an Undertaker one, I don't see that happening. The Holy Grail when it comes to the Rob Schamberger signed art prints. I was on eBay one day and I'm like, hmm, what, what is there out there, what is out there? that I may not have ever had the opportunity to get when it comes to the art paintings. So I'm looking. Uh, you know, people that I've seen already on in person with his portfolio or on auction, uh, the auction site. And I'm like, okay, yeah, alright. Um, but then, there was one that caught my eye. And I'm like, is this real. And the more and more I started looking at it, the more and more I started talking to the guy, I even contacted Rob to make sure this is something he had done, because this is like easily one of the earliest ones he may have done. And once I knew everything, checked out and all that, I'm like, alright, I'll get it. When it came in the mail, it was, I couldn't believe it, because it was just something incredible, basically. So, after all this hype, for a lot of you, it'll probably sound too much overhyped, but for someone that really is in the news, I, I hype it, I, I'll admit, but what I own is a Shawn Michaels signed art print that the, the picture is just too, too good. And it's 
when he won at the time, the WWF wins in the belt at WrestleMania from the infamous Iron Man match he had with none other than Bret Hart. And it's such an iconic moment, especially for someone like Shawn Michaels, who obviously has had a Hall of Fame career, and is in the Hall of Fame. Um, but it's more so, not only do for me, having the Hardy Boys, AJ Styles, and Shawn Michaels, it's like almost mind-blowing. Because, like, if I was the Undertaker, I don't know what to do anymore. Like, I have a feeling, come like, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, or the major pay-per-views, there's gonna be like some really, really good ones. Like right now, um, to put it in perspective, there is a Bobby Roode, a Ty Dillinger, um, what else is there? Um, Alistair Black, which I came close to almost winning it. Uh, the Kurt Angle, they just did a Randy Orton, which I want to get Kurt Angle and or Randy Orton, but I'm fine because I literally just got Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy and the Hardy Boys and the Shawn Michaels one, like, in a span of a mo less than a month. So I probably won't be getting those. Um, which kind of sucks, especially the current angle one. Like, that would be really, really cool to get. But hey, it's okay. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Like I said, it'd be really cool. There's no question about it. But, I look at it as, would I rather have current angle, or would I rather have a chance to get someone like The Undertaker? I'm going to go with the Undertaker every single time. Will we ever see another Undertaker one? Probably not. I can have hope though. If there's going to be one, it'll be next year at WrestleMania. So, if I have to wait, like, eight months to get another one, which honestly I probably won't be waiting eight months, I'll probably be getting, by the end of the year, I'll probably have like four or five more. Probably four. Cause then that would make it 10. So, don't be surprised if I end up talking about these at some point throughout the year. Let me know if you want to see kind of like a picture of, uh, of what they really look like. Cause I know some people out there are like really into that kind of stuff. If you want to see uh, a picture on Twitter of the little collection that I have, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be more, more than happy to show you all the little collection that I got going with, uh, with the Rob Schamberger art prints. Cause I really, really like them. And they're, they're just cool. No, and I, I've always been the guy, like, especially when it comes to wrestling. I really love doing, like, not doing, but owning um, autographed or signed stuff, so when it becomes art as well, I love it even more. And I'm not usually like a artsy type of guy, but there's just something about these that the type of moments that he makes with these are just so good. Like, the Hardy Boys one is when, it, like, if I look at it, the first thing I think of is their return. And that's what it looks like. Um, and then Shawn Michaels, like I said, the iconic moment where he won his first ever major world title. And it was at WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania himself. AJ Styles is him doing the phenomenal forearm in midair. Seth Rollins, this one's when he wins... Uh, with the authority, and then the Bray Wyatt Dean Ambrose one is like way too cool. 
can say three white, when you look at it, say three white in the upside down pose uh, up top, but then Dean Ambrose on the bottom looking up at him. So it's, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, I apologize. I think it's really cool. But, if you guys can let me, uh, let me know, or you have any in general, let me know, because it's one of those things where I know people do collect them or have them, but it's not as popular as a lot of other stuff. Like, for me, I love it. Like, I think it's, like, one of the coolest things for me that I own. Um, like, I, I own a lot of stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I own a lot of stuff, like... I'm trying to, in the process right now, since I moved, which I'm pretty sure I told you guys that I did, um, like right now I'm in the process of trying to basically, cause I own the Left 4 Dead level movie posters, and the problem I have right now is, I have uh, three, six, nine? Yeah. I have nine up, well, ten up, but the rest of them, I think I have five, yeah, five, maybe six others, but the problem is, they're very weird, uh, dimension. And the dimension that they are is 24 by, like, almost 31. Well, the only type of thing that you can get is 24 by 30, and those usually run about 20 bucks. So, you know, five times like 20, 25 dollars, you're looking at about 100, 130, and then you're not counting like command strips, so you're looking at like 150 dollars just to hang five posters up in, a, in an office area. So, it's like, do I really want to spend that kind of money? Probably not right now. So, but that, oh wait, what do we got here? Oh, well, we got some loot we can open up. Heal up my faction members, faction teammates. Go ahead, open the victory loot, see what we get. TP and TP. Yep. That wasn't hard to figure out. Oh, uh, by the way, I get asked how do I have, or how do I get so much coins and have this many people maxed out, basically? The real answer to that, benefactor bags. I'm lucky enough to be in the faction that I'm in, and I just get... I, I did them. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Um, I don't really buy anything anymore. I have faction teammates that buy stuff, and I literally benefit from it. Like, it, by the end of the week, uh, which has been Bulldog and Brett Hart for the remainder of the week, for the main superstars, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I hit, like, 150 benefactor bags. Like, every week, at the end of the week, like, on Saturday, I open them all up, and I can get between 400 and 800,000 coins. And then I use that to level people up, or I hold on to it. So, little tip for you, if you're lucky enough to have a faction like that. Not everyone can. I have, I'm lucky. They're awesome people, but I also have the roster that I have. So, that's that. But, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more Champions content, and as always, I'll see you all later.